Oh, hello, students. Nice to see your radiating, shining faces today. This is going to be a small class this semester, so this will leave the perfect opportunity for me to get to help each one of you one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. So, we have Nancy, our exchange student, will be joining us for the entirety of the semester, so please show her some kindness and treat her how you would all want to be treated. Anything you would like to introduce about yourself, Nancy? Hi, everyone. It's so nice to meet you all. I'm looking forward to this class and how excited I am to get to know all of you. I have a question. Uh, okay, what's your question when, when, when is they? Yeah, when are we going to get to the good stuff, like the torture and preserving dead people? When's that going to happen? What did you say your name was again? Adams. Well, that explains that, because I don't see your name on my roster here, Wednesday. Oh, shoot. I'm in the wrong class then. My bad. I think I'm supposed to be in the other class for Melda, Hyde, and you. Later. Who are we missing? I thought we were only supposed to have a small class with less than five people total, and I, I don't really... I'm glad you brought that up, Kelsey, because that brings me to my next point. This is Nancy Rx. Where are you from? Kelsey, that is not an appropriate question to ask. No, it's quite all right. I'm from Connecticut, now that you ask. Connecticut? What kind of a place is that? Oh, it's a place in the United States. That sounds fake, like Arbor Day. Stop it! You know how insecure John gets? Don't talk about him when he's not even here. Whatever, John's just a big baby tree hugger. Who's John? Arbor Day. Wait, what? Anyways, before we begin our first lecture, uh, knowing your holiday date and why it's important. I want each pair to discuss what each holiday your partner is. And since I don't know how this Zoom thing works, I want you to I want you to turn off your camera and I'll mute myself. Actually, I want you to keep your camera on and I'll mute myself and uh go get some coffee. <laughs> you smarties can figure it out. I believe in you. Damn it. Uh, um, ma'am, I don't think your camera is off. Why would you ruin it? Oh, shoot. God damn. God. Uh, oh, well, okay. Uh, Kelsey, let's partner up. <sighs> okay, cool. So, uh, how about we turn off our cameras and we can just FaceTime and discuss and let Nancy stay on the call as our guest. <laughs> Hi, I'm Suze. It's nice to meet you. Hi, so nice to meet you. I was just curious, but what did he mean when he talked about knowing your holiday date and its importance? It might not have been clear enough that I am an American. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Wait, what? Well, that you're from the United States. Why are you apologizing? Well, I mean, it's, it's not like you guys are known for like your holidays. <laughs> What, you mean like the 4th of July? Well, I guess he's one of them, although we really don't like inviting him to things. <laughs> Who's he? The 4th of July. That's a holiday, not a person. Oh, uh, do, do you, um, do you not know where you are? Um, yeah, I do. Well, you realize that this isn't one of those typical schools, right? Like, like it's not a regular curriculum with normal, um, I guess you call them students? I, I think she just wants us all to know where we came from. Okay, easy. I come from Connecticut. Wait, um, do you guys not have like location locations? It, that doesn't make any sense. Oh! <laughs> I think I understand what's happening now, and I definitely picked the wrong school to exchange myself to. No way, this is so exciting. I didn't realize that I could actually be involved in a school's event where kids like me get to meet regular people like me. Yeah. Exactly, so, so can I ask the questions that I've always wanted to ask about you regulars? 
regulars. Is, is it accurate that every person enjoys bacon? I wish I could say it wrong, but... And, and why do none of your guys agree on which holiday should be public holidays? Um, I think that even though Virginia crashed our meeting with no reason at all, Nancy is owed a question or two. Oh my, oh my goodness. Of, of course. Go, go ahead. Okay, uh, well, if I'm understanding the situation I'm in right now correctly, which I think I am, and if I'm surrounded by the type of beings that I think I am. Virginia, you can't just hang up on someone and expect them to show up on the Zoom call. Which I do. Then why, why do you all stick to your dates? I don't follow. Like, why do you all keep the same dates that you all have to fulfill your holidays on? I you don't. do make a valid point. I do? Yes. Kelsey. Shut it, gas station, Seuss. You've got an interesting point there, Nancy. Why should I be stuck with the same stupid month just because Virginia over here gets the good stuff? I don't think- Shut up, turkey coma. Welcome back, everyone. I'm sure you had some good times by being able to communicate with your class. Actually, that brings up a really interesting point, ma'am. Uh, sure, Kelsey. What would you like to share with the class? You really don't need- I hate October 31st. Um, all right. I thank you for that fun fact. I think it's stupid. It's a bad month, and I hate it. <sighs> I'm sorry that you feel that way, but there's nothing I can do about that, Kelsey. Oh, but can't you? I don't follow. Why am I October 31st? What? You know exactly what I mean. Isn't it clear? Because without our specific dates, the entire world would fall into total chaos. Oh, shut it, Virginia. Everyone knows the only reason anyone likes you is for your sides. It is not my fault that I have a high food content on Thanksgiving. Look, as much as I hate Miss Halloween Town over here, she has a point. Look, I don't mean to be rude when I bring it up, but also I'm wondering why we have to follow these dates. That's just what the universe has taught us to do. But what if I don't want to follow what the universe says? What if I want to go to bed early on October 31st and would rather wake up early on January 1st? You know what? I'll go ahead and I'll swap my first school day closet to March 2nd for your October 31st, Kelsey. Wait, what's your holiday again? Just read across America Day. You, you know this is all illegal, right? Like, you literally can't do this. What's the harm if they're a little happier? No! You just couldn't help yourself, could you? I went almost 150 years without having to answer this question. But you had to ask it, didn't you? It's almost always one of you. Isn't it one of those annoying, young, enthusiastic people that feels like they need to shine their light on everything? Shine my light on. No one wants you to shine your light. In fact, no one wants anyone's light to shine down on them because what's the point? Terry the Tooth Fairy, she doesn't leave real money anymore. Only Jersey My coupons for 50% off a of free sub. Sammy Sandman, that guy sucks. I mean, like straight up and has a gambling problem. What's the point of me even teaching this class anyways? I mean, I mean, there's not any real reason anymore, right? Everyone else has just decided it's a free for all. So what's the point? Honestly, someone tell me because I, <laughs> I have just decided that I don't want to teach anymore. Since every one of you is so smart, why don't you tell me why no one is allowed to trade their dates with other people? I actually think you can look at it- Shut up, Virginia! You have to be one of the most annoying students I ever had the misfortune of having in my class. Who asked you to kiss up to me? Absolutely no one. Not even Cupid does it, and I see him every Saturday night for poker. Stop trying to fit in and be everyone's favorite. Not everyone is going to like you, Virginia. You're like one of the most hated holidays, and that's okay! Just stop trying to be everyone's favorite for once! I'm, I'm sorry. 
I don't know. I don't, I don't know where that came from. Um, that was extremely unprofessional and I apologize profusely. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I, I'm outdated, but now I'm very confused. It's about time you exploded. We were all really just waiting until it happened to be completely honest. Dude, you're New Year's. You're, you're like the most exciting holiday out there and it looked like you lost your bubbly. I did not lose my bubbly. With, with all due respect, ma'am, you lost your bubbly. Ma'am, I didn't know you prior to this class, but it would appear that once someone's bubbly is diminished, they must be shaken up to regain said bubbliness. No one ever thinks they've lost their holiday spirit, but it's all okay. Because we helped you get it back, stupid. <laughs> no offense, but 2020 hasn't been the same since you lost your bubbly. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry about that. It must have been... Don't worry about it. Well, why don't we all end class today and start up fresh next week? Give everyone a chance to explore their own bubbly. Oh my God, I feel, I feel incredible. I feel like I can run a marathon or stop world hunger <sighs> or finish watching my soap operas. <laughs> <sighs> so good. I really didn't think it'd work. Did you guys like how I acted really annoying to get her agitated? Trust me, you didn't have to act. Okay, look, the point is, I can't believe it worked. <laughs> well then, Nancy, or should we say April? Thank you, but it was a group effort. If we have to scheme like that in another 150 years, please just end me. Will do. <laughs> Who wants lunch? 